Be careful of the pothole. Just as she prepared to drive over this pothole, <laughs> Melissa Ortiz stopped to take in the neighborhood around it. Then a taxing issue hit her. Nice places like this get more expensive all the time, thanks to rising property values and the taxes that often follow. It's a good area, but I mean, all the taxes do not need to go up. I think it should be reasonable. Of course they should. I mean, everybody does believe that. It should be something that someone can afford. But this year, nature threw us a serious curveball in a January winter blast and the week-long ice and snow event we've come to know as the Texas Deep Freeze. It's why many of our leaders have begun openly talking budget and tax rates months ahead of schedule. The bills stemming from our Texas deep freeze provide only one reason for all this early talk about taxes. You see, this taxing issue goes way beyond that and lands at the doorstep of the very foundation of our government financing, our property taxes. More and more of us worry about property appraisals that can jump as much as 15% in just a year because home values and property taxes go hand in hand. This year, folks that fear getting priced out of their homes on taxes alone have even more to worry about. Governments have more pressure than ever on them to demand more from us to pay for, say, the fuel costs for Bryant's power plant at 27 million bucks. Or Colleen, where the ice left its roads crumbling. Price tag? A whopping $40 million. Extra costs almost nobody anticipated. You sat in on a couple of hours, I think, mm -hmm. worth of our budget discussion. I sure did, last year, and found Bell County leaders, like many governments, can squeeze a penny. But that office is kind of a secondary office. Until it squeals, and then some. We need to be extremely, almost ruthlessly efficient with the dollars that we have so that that tax rate can be as low as it can be. Bell County Judge David Blackburn proudly told me his commissioner's court has lowered the tax rate every year for the last decade. With a median 10% jump in property values this year in his neck of the woods, 11 should present no problem, even if the court doesn't cut as much as he'd like. It looks like little explosions. Colleen's $40 million problem may need some out-of-the-box thinking. You know, you can only squeeze so much, and so uh, you're going to have to go out and figure out, okay, what are other ways that we can re raise revenue? His favorite solution right now, another kind of tax, most call a user fee. A charge over which the mayor says Austin has absolutely no control. We do have what they call a street maintenance fees where citizens pay like $1.70 per month. And that usually that gets us just less than $2 million a year. He says a hike of about five more bucks a month could pave the way for better roads for years to come, all without affecting property taxes. And while governments keep a running total on storm damage, other regular costs go up too. Ultimately, uh, just like every other business around town, uh, costs go up. Health insurance goes up, uh, salaries go up, um, the equipment that's needed the, uh, to, for our public safety and for parks and recreation and public works, those costs go up. And to folks most concerned about the apparently inexorable march to higher taxes, it seems as if the taxes and fees keep coming and coming and coming. Someone purchases a house and it's okay for, okay, I understand they have taxes. That's, something, that's always gonna be there, just like a car. We don't ever own our cars. We always got this registration sticker we gotta get. We gotta have insurance on it. Insurance, understand it, backs us up if we have an accident. Versus, they're still gonna make money. We never own anything in this life. It sure can seem that way. And that's the taxing issue in a nutshell and why we often elect leaders who know how to squeeze a penny to forestall a day we fear we'll have to sell the house just to cover that taxing issue. Dennis Turner, 25 News.